I'll take a quick run through here and sort of show you how the course is set up. So I put this one together and we'll see how it helps, if it helps you at all. If you're not familiar with Blackboard, the key things to look for in this screen that you'll see is over here on the left-hand side, you have your announcement to start here. This is your menu side over on this side. So that's where you'll find the important things that you want to look at. Not everything is important, but you'll want to look at some of those for sure. When it comes up, we'll come up in the announcements section. Notice up here there's an announcement already about proctoring. Uh, we're going to take uh, a couple of tests, a few tests, and a final exam. Those will be proctored events. That means you'll go to a testing center and take those. You need to file some paperwork with that, and this one describes what you need to go. And the link down here tells you where it is you need to go. Actually, go to that link. You fill out the information about where you'll be taking it. If you live within um, 30 miles of Cameron or Duncan, you're going to take it at Cameron or Duncan in one of our labs. Or alternatively, you can take it at a place called ProctorU, which is an online proctoring assignment. We can visit more about that later on. To get started in the course, <coughs> excuse me. You start in the course, start here is probably a good logical place to go. So I click on the start here button. It comes up here, it tells me all these different types of things. But it tells what the courses look like. If you take a look at it, it's pretty easy to see that over here is announcement, start here, faculty, as a matter of fact, this whole part right here looks just like this whole part over here. So it's just kind of telling you what's contained in each one of those parts. What you'll see further in the start here things, I've put in a little video of just introducing me. You get to know what I look like, if that matters at all for anything. Uh, it doesn't take very long to look at that. It describes the course a little bit. And then down below that will be this video once I have it recorded. Now, these things down here in the gray under course management, you won't see those in your Blackboard. I only see those in mine. Um, faculty contact information is coming up next. Faculty contact information is set up in here. My email, my phone, that's my cell phone, by the way, because I'm not actually in the state this summer. I'm in Washington, D.C., uh, so my office is listed here, but it won't do you much good. Um, but the best way to contact me will be via email or possibly uh, even Blackboard has something called Instant Messenger, which we could use. Or if you have, have a desperate situation, you can call me via phone and that's fine. During the daytime, I don't get much reception in the building I'm in, so I won't be able to do much during the daytime. I won't be doing emails during the daytime either. Those will be evenings and weekends only. Uh, under syllabus, it gives you kind of an outline, sort of a layout of what this thing's going to look like. And so up here in the syllabus and policy, if you click on this document right here, it's going to come up and it's going to tell you that blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. If you want to look at the major things you probably might be interested in, the layout, what we're going to do during the course of the semester is we'll have, we'll have practice assignments, kind of like a homework. I just give them different names all the time. A case study, which I'll put out. It's not out yet. I'll put it out probably within the next couple of weeks. It's not due till toward the end of the semester. We'll do five quizzes in the semester. Those are not proctored. Those are ones you can take at home. Uh, just kind of way to kind of see how you're doing on there. I uh, will take two proctored midterm. No, we won't. I have to fix this one. We're going to take three tests. Fourth of July kind of messed me up, and then we'll have a proctored final exam. Uh, the weightings of these are over here, so they don't count the same in terms of your grade. So you can't add up points at the end of the semester and then divide by the total points to get your percentage, you'll have to rely on what I'll put in Blackboard, which will be constantly keeping track of this weighted average for you the whole time. I'm glad we did this, because that means I have to go and fix that thing now. All right, now, um, let's go back to here. Weekly calendar is going to look like a mess for you to start with, uh, but it has a pattern to it. And if you look at the pattern a little bit, what you'll see in it is it's done by week, Wednesday through Tuesdays a week. So these are all Wednesday through Tuesday weeks for the semester this summer. Uh, there's a Blackboard prep course you can take if you haven't seen Blackboard before. Let me do this. Make it a little readable. Take the Blackboard prep course. If you want, there's no credit. You don't have to take that. That's just there. Introduce yourself in a discussion forum. Read the textbook session, sections that go with the units. The way I've split this course up is instead of going by chapters, which are bigger, I split them into units. So chapter one became five units, and they're kind of split into little segments, so you don't have to sit and do the whole thing at once. You still do them in the first week, but you don't have to do them all at once. And so uh, as you look through here, you're going to read the textbook sections, look at the, um, when I say the electronic content, I'll show you where that is. That's going to be videos of me, which probably could not be any more exciting than that. Uh, talking to you about different things in those sections. Um, we'll talk about those in just a minute. Uh, there's a content discussion forum for each week I'm going to set up. So if you have content questions, things I don't understand this, I don't understand that, you can help each other out. I'll pop in once in a while and see 
if I can help out or if I can help straighten something out we're having issues with. But that's an area where we can discuss constantly back and forth and get responses to it. And there's a thing called a practice assignment for week one that's you know, uh, units one through five. I put with the syllabus. It probably won't be the syllabus. And I'm still fine-tuning this. This is before the course starts. I'm doing this. And I'll fix it up. So that practice assignment is going to be due on the Tuesday night at the end of that first week. And that will be a pattern for you every <coughs> just about every week. This is a practice assignment due the Tuesday night. But it'll be out all week, so you can work on it as you're working through the session. Now, as you get to week two, we're not going to go every week. Now the units are six through ten, mostly coming in in chapter two. Uh, it's going to have a practice assignment like the other one did. And the other thing that you're going to have is the scheduled assessments. There's a quiz coming up that week. Again, it's not proctored. Uh, the difference between a practice assignment and a quiz is that on a practice assignment, you can practice those things as many times as you want to, and you can always get 100 uh, when you get done, if I have it set up right. The quiz, you get a one-shot deal. It's sort of a step up to see if you can start to understand these things. So as you'll see, this is kind of a pattern we have throughout the semester. When we get in around the 4th of July, then I start throwing in a test like the week before the 4th of July. Uh, we still have a quiz hanging over that 4th of July weekend, but I'll give you a couple extra days on it. And then we kind of go into a test 2 and a test 3 and help me right there. Uh, there's the final exam. On, it's available for about four or five days toward the end of July. The class ends in July. So that's a place where you can look at that information as well. Um, next thing out here is called learning outcomes. Again, this is still under, under development. Uh, what happens in here, these are types of things I expect you to be able to do. What's different about this is that these units probably don't match up exactly because I've made adjustments this semester. I need to adjust dates and things of that nature, but I will get to that hopefully soon before we get too involved in it. And then down here, what we have, if you look at the, I sent you an email earlier about the Mastering Chemistry and the gaining access to that, that's where a lot of the homeworks and assignments will be. And it's also where the ebook is if you're going to use an ebook. And so uh, out here are a couple of attachments to this item. Let's say Pearson PowerPoint, Pearson Handout. This des these describe to you how to get into Mastering Chemistry for this course. You might notice that right here, I've given you the course code <coughs> they're going to ask for. So you'll need to use that at some point as you do your uh, getting into the Mastering Chemistry part. So that's all under the syllabus. That's policy types of things. When you come to course content, it looks like this. And you're going to see week one up right now. Weeks two through eight are kind of lined up, but I'm still refining. Some of my transitioning to different types of videos and things hasn't gone well, so this week is up. What you'll see in this week is folder one tells you what it is you're going to be doing this week. So you'll know what it is. When I click on this up here, boom, it comes up. And when you click on these links, these are actually YouTube links. Okay, and they're me doing YouTube. Don't get excited. And so they're YouTube links. You go, and it's going to be that, that thing. And you, I have done it on the Cameron server before. It takes too long to download. I've done it in here. It takes too long to download. The YouTube goes comes up pretty automatically. So I've shifted them over to YouTube. And what you also see out here is under practice assignment one is here I've put come on the assignment is here and here's the Pearson e-text if you want to pull that up in a window you can have the e-text book open at the same time and over here is the mastering assignment you click on that <coughs> and it's going to look like it's going to look like da, 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 da up in here and here's practice assignment week one and so that's how you can go back and forth uh, so so you do need to have that access to be able to do that uh, down here and other course content I'll put uh, things that are coming up in certain weeks I'll have them in there what's due uh, the quizzes so I'll do it entirely by week so we look at the course content week one is going to be June 1st through June 7th those assignments those things you should be doing are in that week folder and so you don't have to go looking all over the place for them uh, you'll also have access to my grades. You'll be able to see your running Blackboard grade the whole time. Uh, if I click it, I don't get anything because I'm not a student. If it, discussion board is in here as well. Discussion board. I have a couple things in it. One is you're going to introduce yourself. You'll find that in some of this other stuff we've kind of cruised through. You can introduce yourself so you have some idea who we're, who we're working with here. If I got there or not, there it goes. Looks like this. So there's my introduction laid in there somewhere. And if you go into here and click on this thing, you can just reply to mine. Just click on here. 
You can reply to that. You can also, if you wanted to, I'll take quite honestly, I get confused in all this discussion stuff sometimes. But if I go back uh, to where I was before, Come on, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Back to here, you can do things like, um, that's about it. So the best thing is just go ahead and reply to it, we'll get a whole string of these things going. I've also set up other discussion forums, uh, as we call them, oh, there's create thread at the top, I'm sorry. Uh, so down here, there's introduction, there's questions and answers, policy, navigation. If you have questions about technical things like that, put them in here. I'll pop in once in a while to see if I can help out. And also each week we'll have a content for a forum for content discussion. So we can chit chat back and forth and see where you might be having questions and issues <coughs> as well. And so that pretty much is a setup. I did want to point out one other thing. This is helpful for you in any camera course you're taking these days is tutor.com. So it doesn't matter what course you're in. Even if your course doesn't use Blackboard. Um, you are in a Blackboard course, a shell for that particular course, and if you just go and log in your Blackboard, you'll see any course in there, whether you have a Blackboard part or not, whether your instructor does Blackboard or not, you'll see it in there. You can always click on tutor.com, and tutor.com gives you up to, I think it's eight hours still, of free tutoring service in a whole range of areas. And so uh, it's kind of something to be be mindful of it's fairly helpful as you look at it. so if I look in here I can look at social sciences English science English writing history humanities business foreign language all sorts of things and you can further select down from there so in foreign chemistry which we are that's a science and over here I can click on chemistry and then you can go in you can ask questions uh, type of question in here and it's 24-7 you can do it 24-7. You get up to eight hours in a semester. I think after that you get charged some. I do not know what the rate is or anything of that nature. But that's helpful to keep in mind for, again, any of your courses that you're taking a camera. And I think that's about all the rundown I had to have. I'm sure there aren't any questions left after that. Um, so looking forward to working with you. I'll see you, sort of, on the web here pretty soon. Uh, Coming up Memorial Day weekend in a few days. I probably won't be very active over Memorial Day weekend. I have to go and take a short trip. Uh, but I'll be on full, full blast nights, weekends, and all at starting June 1st, if not May 31st. Thank you very much. Look forward to working with you.